G'day everyone, here we are once again now back in my home country, Australia, and uh, today I'm going to take off from Toowoomba. I want to do something a little bit different today. I want to see the flight model a bit, and uh, so I'm going to try a couple of stalls and see what that does. Um, I've never actually done that before, deliberately, so um, keen on the real pilots chiming in on this one and letting me know what I should be doing, but I'm assuming um, that I'll be flying at a certain level, uh, perhaps put one notch of flaps in and then start to pitch up and see what point it uh, wants to fall out of the sky and then uh, accelerate down, get some airspeed and go again. Anyway, um, let's see how that works. I'll just fly around here in Toowoomba back on pilot to ATC. Um, you would have seen I'm still trying with this one, uh, but I think with the latest betas that they're putting through now, they're fixing the issues with X-Plane 12. So I'm slowly becoming more of a fan of it as an alternate, albeit it's not real world, but as a secondary alternate to VATSIM. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's get ourselves underway. Fuel selectors to both. And the handbrakes on, all circuit breakers are in. And test the standby. Hold that for 10 to 15. And arm, alt masters on, beacon on. And mixture in full reach. Pump that a couple of times. Just give that there. Idle cut off on the throttle. Advance to start position, beacon is on, look around, clear the prop, and advance. Mixed your full, and back to 1000 RPM. As I said before, I normally have this around 900, just over. No, uh, no warnings are coming on here, and the electrical is reading in excess of 24 volts, which is good, and the amps are zeroed out temperatures, pressures all in the green at this point and nothing unusual. Bus 1, bus 2 on. Toowoomba traffic, Skyhawk Juliet, Alpha Echo rolling 1-1 one, one for a straight out departure to Woomba. Midland traffic, the traffic says no one did the Echo Fox Echo over to Dublin, step uh, 1700 on the upward side, going to cross overhead the field. Uh, Midland downward, 3 points. Speeds alive, 40 knots, 50, 60, rotate. And we are airborne. Pretty. 13 knots, 14 knots, coming straight at me. Uh, certainly got ortho on here, no auto gen over the top of it, bit uh, disappointing. The terrain is certainly there. Over here, I think. Um, just about at 4,000 now. And we'll uh, pitch it down. the airfield over there. So let's do some stalls. We're at 90 knots and uh, see what we can do here. Okay, so the 
those not for flaps. And let's get uh, pitch it up. Air speed slowing down. 60. Yeah, Midland traffic, Echo Park, holding it. Clear 34. 50. 52. 49. And there's the stall. You can hear it. Holding it. Holding it. And there it is. 40 knots. Let's try that without a bunch of flaps and see what happens. Charlie Hotel Lima, this is Midland Unicom, go ahead. Yeah, Midland Unicom, South Carolina Hotel Lima. This is uh, eight miles to the uh, Let's go again. Now up. Winds are from 260 degrees. It's 5 knots. Favoring 3-4. And there is reported local traffic. I'm really going to hold that stick back. 50. 50. Real. G1000 is starting to scream at me. And holding it, holding it, and there she goes again. 45. Well, that's pretty cool. And then recover from the store. Let me know if I'm doing that right and what I'm missing. Um, but certainly, it's directly, a, the flight model is directly aligned to the speed tape on the one G1000. As soon as I hit that red zone, bang, down she went. Uh, which is really cool. Try it once more. Uh, Another knock of flaps in. And uh, see what we can't get out of this one. And here we go. Take it up. Zone 47, 45, 40, really on the edge. 40, any second. Midland traffic, Fox, Southern yeah. Hotel, and that's two miles. Smack on, on 40, side. 40 uh, knots. Going to cross over the field and uh, down uh, she, uh, three, four. she stalls. This part of the uh, ortho has turned out really well. Um, really happy with that. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera, but that looks really good. Um, a bit faded out the back there, I guess it's because of the sun um, coming in, but let me maybe if I can just turn the plane around and get the sun behind us. Um, that's actually not too bad. I quite like that. Let's have a look. Oh, so we've got the sun right in front of us. But let's see if we can get the sun on the other side of us. Midland traffic, Charlie, Dizzy, 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 Fox, Drops, overhead the field, we're going to mid left downwind for runway 3, 4, full stop number 2. Yeah. Actually not quite nice, the ortho. It's just a shame that we don't get any um, buildings and so on out of it. So. But I must admit, and again, I know there's so many FS2020 fans out there that aren't going to like what I'm about to say. Um, but um, look, for me personally, uh, I'm more of an X-Plane fan than I am an FS20 fan. Uh, and that's because of exactly what we just did now, the flight dynamics, um, 
you know, the cloud textures I think are coming up nice. I've got beautiful ortho scenery around me. Yes, I have to download that and create it, but once it's there, I think it's pretty good. Um, and more importantly, excuse the um, background chatter. More importantly, I'm able to configure this aircraft to look with everything blending out of the physical shell that I've built. And because of that, um, that's why it wins me over over FS2020 at the moment. I'm really trying with FS2020, but I'm just reluctant to put any videos up at the moment because um, it just doesn't look right for me. Uh, I, I don't like seeing a cockpit inside of a cockpit. I just can't deal with it. So um, I'm going to stick around with this one for a while and if FS2020 gets more customization where we can do this, then I'll give it a crack. Ah, there's a mine site up there. Uh, so it's, it's pretty interesting. So certain landmarks, I could probably dip the wings over there, but uh, those of you that live up in this neck of the woods around Toowoomba, let me know what, if you can know what mine site that is, uh, and how recent that photographic image is. There it is there. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, but there's the airstrip there. Uh, what we should do is join on a left downwind for one run, and we need to be at 3,000, so we're just coming in for that now, and uh, let's get ourselves ready. Landing's on, and uh, get ourselves ready for it. Toowoomba traffic, Skyhawk, Julia, Alpha, Echo, will be entering left downwind for runway 1-1, full stop. ETA will be zero correction five seven Toowoomba. Toowoomba traffic, Skyhawk Juliet Alpha Echo is entering left downwind for two uh, correction one one full stop Toowoomba. Skyhawk Juliet Alpha Echo, this is Tony Multicom on one two seven point six five. Please repeat your request. Skyhawk Juliet Alpha Echo is landing on runway 1-1, full stop. Pick up traffic, Fox Drop, Julie Hope, Alley, let's turn in final for 3-4, full stop. Julie, Fox Drop, clear 3-4, moving. Toowoomba traffic, Skyhawk Juliet Alpha Echo turning final for 1-1, full stop, Toowoomba. Traffic, but you're only off over mid-field. 
Okay, well that was fun. A little bit of stalling um, and stalling practice and seeing what it can do. Obviously, the ticker tape shows 40 as the stall speed and it certainly ties in. So um, that, that's good. I've never done that actually before and I'm sure I've probably made some mistakes there, so feel free to correct me. Um, but it was good to feel it, uh, certainly feel the plane as I was climbing. You could hold it, hold it, and then there's a point where it just snatches and yeah, you've completely lost the, all of it. No more airflow over the wings and um, obviously recorrect after that. But that was good. So I might try a spin or something, um, but that looks a bit more involved. But I'll have to do a bit more reading on that. Okay, pilot to ATC. Yeah, I didn't use it too much, but... Um, I'm going to try an IFR or something in the near future. Thanks guys, talk to you soon. Bye for now.